Hello, welcome to Woodline Tracking. It's a snow cold, cold day in Ohio. Hope you all are warm and safe. Uh, let me ask you guys a question. Or do you think you are free? You think you're free men and women? We should be free according to the U.S. Bill of Rights, or Bill of Rights that is God-given, that protects our rights from the government, from man, from legislation. You just can't make laws and do away with the Bill of Rights. We should have all kinds of freedom, the Constitution, our state constitutions. We should, we should be free. Well, let's, let's ask a couple of questions so you can think about if you're free or not, or what they are doing. Going to church. Do you have the right to go to church? Mm, let's look at this. California, uh, they banned church, and I believe it was MacArthur went to court four or five times, one each time, and then um, they just didn't, would the state wouldn't accept the verdict, so they kept on taking it to another court until they finally got a court that ruled the way that they wanted to be ruled. But in California, it was all right to go to a strip club, but you couldn't go to church. Look at New York State, and finally the Supreme Court ruled, and let's just hope everybody follows the ruling, but we shouldn't have to go through that. So, just ask that question to you, yourself. Pre-election. Do we have pre-election? Do the pe voice of the people is heard? Of course, the politicians, or the Democrats would tell you yes, but um, I beg for differ. I mean, there's a lot of fraud going on, you know, and that's really scary because if they could steal all election, what do we have? Nothing. I mean, look at Oregon. I mean, they've been they've been having mail-in ballots for what, 10, 10 years now or something like that, maybe a little longer, I'm not for sure, but you know, in 2010, they had a Democrat governor, and uh, the people didn't really like him, so they was voting in the Republican governor and, governor, and guess what? That night, the Republican governor was ahead, and everything was going great, and then they shut down, shut everything down, and then, lo and behold, they found a bunch of mail-in ballots in the back of a car or something, and the Democrat governor won. Go figure. Golly gee, why? And uh, guess what? They haven't had a Republican in office for a long since then, and and Oregon has turned into a Democrat shithole. Now, all you patriots that live out there, I feel sorry for you. Um, uh, keep the fight, good fight. We all pray for you. But it's just the point is, uh, think about it. Judge for yourself what is going on, and all the evidence, and all the witnesses coming out. Because this is coup style. You think you'll ever have a fair election again if if we don't stand up? And I'll get to more of that as we go on here. I mean, and I get tired of people saying, oh, we just got to keep the Senate. The Senate's everything. You don't think that if they did fraud on this, you don't think they're going to do fraud on the Senate, on Georgia, in the next election and uh, coming up? Okay, uh, freedom of speech. Uh, do you think you have a freedom of speech? Or do you think, like Twitter, Facebook, everybody controls your speech? Well, you know, uh, some Chinese government official posted a picture of a Australian soldier cutting the head off of a, uh, I think, Afghanistan child or something on top of an Australian flag saying, trying to make Australia look bad. Of course, it was all faked. Um, but uh, they wouldn't, uh, I believe it was Facebook, wouldn't take it down. And uh, finally, they put some, some lame thing to it. But of course, if President Trump says anything, any true facts, oh, he's lying, block him, shut him down. So you think you're really getting freedom of speech or you think they're controlling your speech? You know, can you just go up and say what you want? You should. Uh, let me look at my notes here again. Right to bear arms. 
all, all you hear is about oh, gun safety and all this other stuff. But you know, in some places you can't own large magazines. Because they, I guess they don't understand uh, we, um, the second amendment and what infringe means. So, I mean, so in some places, but of course it's funny that all these states, all these places, you never, you never see less control. They always grow onto other places and want to take more control. All in the name of safety. Mm-hmm. Business. You know, if you're free to run your business how you see fit. Guess what now? They're shutting down businesses and uh, you're not a, just, you're not an important enough business to stay open because you're not important enough. So you got to shut down because of safety and this bad, 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 bad virus is going around. And safety. Uh, or you got to shut down as a core few. Where's freedom of business? You own the business. You should determine what you want to do. You stay open or close. But in the name of safety and all this, well, you know, that takes away your, your freedom. Of course, you know, there's a reason why we have these rules that you kids can't write laws or make a order to take away because people can justify anything. Look at Hitler. He justified killing six million Jews. So you need to ask yourself all these questions. Do you think you really, your freedom is growing or are they taking away your freedom? If they are, if you think your freedom is being taken away, what should you do about it? You need to stand up. You need to be Americans. You know? You know the saying, you know who's saying this is? Those who dare win? The SAS. Fate favors the bold, the higher defense force. I mean, so there's all kinds of sayings out there. We just got to be bold. We got to be good Christian Americans. If they take away all elections, we'll never end up with another failed election again and, our, and they'll just keep on legislating away our rights and our freedoms. I don't know if you want that or not. I mean, I want to be a free man to do what I want and say what I want and think what I want. We need to be bold men. Remember, time may go on, but your life may not.